Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn the second chapter of water. Students, in this video you will learn about the percentage of water and their importance. Before starting my point, I want to tell you, <coughs> water is a compound of two gases, which are hydrogen and oxygen, in the ratio four to ratio one, which means two atoms of hydrogen combined with one atom of oxygen. Then it forms water, and also called dihydrogen oxide. Okay, and their properties are: water is tasteless, odorless, colorless, and it always found in liquid state at normal temperature. Now come to the first point: water present on the earth. Look here, students, in the diagram. This blue color represents us water, and this. Green and brown color represents us land. It means students, three fourth area of the earth covered with water, and one fourth area of the earth covered with land. It means we have seventy five percent of water and twenty five percent land. Now come to the second point, water natural resource. Students, we know that. we have very huge quantity of water on the earth but all portion of water is not usable for us because some are found in ocean some in found in polar region and some are found in rivers ponds and under the land so let me show you look here this blue color represent the water present in ocean and seas this black color represents the water found in mountain peaks And polar region, and this yellow color represents water present on the rivers, ponds, and under the land. So, students, look here. Ninety-seven percent of water present in ocean. Two percent of water present in uh, in the form of ice on the mountain peaks and polar region, and only one percent found on the rivers. Ponds and under the land. So students understand, we have very less quantity of usable water in the earth. Now next point, importance of water for living beings. First point for human body. The students, do you know, seventy percent of body weight is only because of water, and because of water. the digestion and absorption of food going well and because of water the circulation of digested food is going well and of because of more water removal of unwanted substances is possible in the form of urine and sweat and in last because of water we can control the temperature by sweating and students for healthy body healthy body needs at least 2 to 3 liters of milk sorry water daily now next is for plants students water is also very important for plants because without water plant cannot make their food so without water photosynthesis process is not allowed second transporting of food and minerals is also possible only because of water now next for aquatic plants and animals students a very important thing for this type of animals and plants water is habitat for them without this they cannot survive and here the aquatic animals take oxygen or from water and also plants take carbon dioxide from water in this way water is very important for living beings students in this way you will understood about all the importance of water and percentage of water on the earth but if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you